Hey, welcome to the Machine Head Production Blogs. These, uh, these are going to be some video blogs that we load up to the Machine Head YouTube page, and they're primarily going to focus on the production side of making a record. There's not going to be a whole lot of talk about band stuff, song stuff. It's going to really be pretty much the behind the scenes team that helps me as a producer to make our records come to life. And so, going to give you a warning. If you are uh, easily bored with tech talk and microphone placement conversations, then feel free to go to the YouTube sidebar over here or press pause. But if that kind of stuff interests you, I think it's a uh, you know, making a record like this is a pretty, it's a pretty big deal and it's pretty cool, man. And uh, so we're going to take you on the journey. And right now we're going to talk a little bit about the early part of the process, which is the demoing process, which is something that we do during the writing. So one crucial thing about recording demos is being able to go back and listen to what you've worked on. It's good to have that and, you know, be able to listen to it and sit with it for a while and reflect before you go into the studio and you start cutting these tracks for real. You know, Machine Head and a lot of the bands do this. They like to basically have like a working version of the record already recorded before they even go into the studio, you know, as close to how it's going to be as possible. With this record and with the last record in particular, we really, really like started focusing a lot on some other stuff. So we got ourselves a full Pro Tools rig. We got our uh, Mackie board, bought a bunch of just bunch of used stuff that we bought. And uh, we come in here and, and we jam. And you know, for me in particular, because I am producing the record, you know, because I heard so many things in my head uh, when it came to the new songs and a lot of keyboard parts and a lot of string parts. This time I wanted to make sure that we demoed it. We brought in the quartet that we worked with on the last record. They did the stuff at, at the end of Who We Are and they did the Darkness Within. And I actually brought them into our jam room here in, <laughs> in Oakland. So on the last record, we got introduced to a little bit of strings that we started working with strings on some of the songs. And uh, some of that carried over to the new record. So now we have a new song that they have recorded strings to. They rec brought in a quartet over to their demo studio and I was pretty impressed. They recorded the strings there on, under not, you know, less than great conditions. <laughs> My job was to make that song really come to life, you know, so that the rest of the band can be like, holy shit, you know, this is a song. This is a killer song. We're going to keep this one on the record. This was going on the record. So lucky for us, it all worked out and uh, we have this new track. And then the band kicks in and it's kind of like, okay, here's the band. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to go back to the original thing and then maybe bring those up. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. if you if if when it's building up in that drumby part, if you want to try something like that, like yeah, I mean, the I, last time, like, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know what it sounds like, so until yeah. I hear it, yeah. I couldn't say yeah. yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the most ideal set up for recording strings. <laughs> Sitting in the room with barely enough headphones for everybody to listen. We tracked tracked those guys for a few hours. At the end of the day there was a there was a guy in the in the quartet and uh, he actually he knew how to play guitar a little bit and he was sitting there playing his violin and just killing it and shredding it, you know, Paganini style on the on the violin and he jumps up and he's just like, "Man, can I plug into your guitar? I just want to like I want a chunk." And Thanks for watching our production blogs. We're probably going to be putting these up every couple of weeks. Hope you enjoyed them. More stuff coming at you. See ya.